Now in the last video, we talked all about the amazing new group by function. And luckily, our teammate in the comments gave us a great tip about how to have two different calculations in the report. This is how I did it in last video. But here's how easy it is. Group by row fields. We're going to group by region, comma, values. We're going to try and get a calculation based on sales, comma, and the function sum. Backspace comma, we definitely want to show headers, so three close parentheses and control enter. There's one calculation, F2, but here's how you do two. You use H stack, and notice it doesn't pop up in the drop down, but if we type it out, open parentheses, there's sum. Comma, we'll do average. Notice this is not a drop down with the 16 functions. But if we type it out, close parentheses, and enter, bam, that's how you get two different calculations in a single report. Now guess what? This trick works in both group by and pivot by. So I'm going to drag this down here. Pivot by has the exact same arguments, except for it has a column field. We're going to make the same report. Comma, we're going to skip over columns, values, that'll be sales, comma, H stack, open parentheses, sum, comma, average, close, comma, three, close, control enter. That does it also. Now with pivot by and group by, when we have a single column in the row area, that's a condition for summing and averaging, we're still not sure from the labels which column is being aggregated. Now let's try F2, two conditions in the row area. Control Enter. Well, we see the two conditions for the two calculations, but we're still not sure what column is being aggregated. F2. Let's see what happens if we add two fields to aggregate. Well, we do see two conditions. Here's the two conditions. And for those two conditions, we finally get what field it is and what calculation. One, two. Now, pivot by can make the same exact report two conditions in the row area, two columns to aggregate based on those two conditions from the row, Control Enter. There's the same report. Now be sure and check out this video I posted yesterday about group by because it goes over all the arguments and all the details that apply both to group by and pivot by. And man, we are lucky to have such an awesome online Excel team. Thanks to our teammate for two different calculations in a pivot by or group by report. All right, we'll see you next pivot by full detail video.